Kyle Jokel found guilty of murder in St. John deputy ambush. Hello, everybody. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. Welcome to Common Sense Academy. Um, that headline that I just read you um, is out of Louisiana. This is a recent story, well, a couple weeks old, but fairly recent, February 7th, 2020. Mr. Jokel was a sovereign citizen. Uh, I covered the beginning of the trial. He was put on trial um, in a capital case, so the prosecution was seeking the death penalty, and the jury had to decide whether or not to give him the death penalty. So we're going to watch this video and uh, we're going to run through the article real quick. Uh, before we do that, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, and share. Uh, the biggest thing you could do for me right now is subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I have over 4,000, getting close to five. Most of my viewers aren't subscribed to the show. That came as a bit of a surprise for me, but when I looked at the analytics, that was true. So if you're watching my show, uh, you enjoy the content that I have here, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, sign up for my email list. I bring this up. You get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Now, before we watch this video, let's do a quick same time sip. I got here my uh, my Penguins, my Pittsburgh Penguins Cup, uh, Stanley Cup champions, and my favorite beverage, one of my favorites, Diet Coke. Uh, it tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Okay, let's watch the video, and then I'll do some commentary and run through the article. There are constant reminders that that are there that we've done and people have done so that we never forget what happened that day. A jury finds Kyle Yackel guilty of first-degree murder in the 2012 killings of two St. John Sheriff's deputies. Good evening. I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Shelley Brown. The families of deputies Brandon Nielsen and Jeremy Trish have been waiting years for justice. The deputies were ambushed at a Laplace mobile home park in 2012. As Amanda Roberts reports, family members say they finally got a verdict they wanted to hear. More than seven years after a deadly shootout that killed two St. John Parish Sheriff's deputies culminated in seven days worth of testimony at one of the gunmen's capital murder trial. And the wheels of justice turn slow, but they turn. Kyle Yackel has been in prison since deputies arrested him and Brian Smith for shooting and killing St. John Parish Sheriff's deputies Jeremy Trish and Brandon Nielsen. Two other deputies were injured in the Laplace mobile home ambush and still work for the department. During the trial, the state argued there were two shooters that day. They say Brian Smith, a paranoid schizophrenic, was the initial shooter. But it was Yakel who grabbed an AK-47 and fired at point-blank range, killing Deputy Nielsen because he was an extremist who hated the police. Sheriff Mike Tregg was in the courtroom during the trial and vividly remembers that day. I'd only been in office 45 days and the support we got from the community and the citizens and other law enforcement agencies. Remember that day when all of that happened, all those agencies showed up. I never made one phone call, and we had 50, 60 officers there with helicopters and SWAT teams. It didn't take long for the jury to make a decision, returning a unanimous guilty verdict on both counts of first-degree murder in less than an hour. I don't know if you want to call it a victory. It is a victory in some sense, but it's also still a, a reminder of a tremendous loss. I'm glad it's halfway over. I mean, you know, we we got the verdict that we wanted, and now we got one more step to go with this gentleman that uh, was convicted of our son's murder. Deputy Brandon Nielsen's parents were visibly moved after the clerk read guilty verdicts and say they've been counting the days since they lost their son. But it has been 2,830 days since the incident. We're finally getting justice. Embraced by the sheriff who led both his department and the grieving families of those deputies in the years since the shooting, Nielsen's mother acknowledged there's been loss on both sides. I have mixed emotions. I'm, I'm sad. Um, this won't bring our son back, but it sure does bring justice for what we've been going through. And there's just no real winners here, but we're thankful for the verdict for both Brandon and Jeremy. They so de deserve it. So thank you. Yackel faces the death penalty in this case. His defense attorney said he would not comment on the verdict until the sentencing phase is completed tomorrow. That's scheduled to start at 8 a.m. Brian Smith has been declared mentally unfit to stand trial at this time. 
So let's take a look at the article. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll through it real quick because I'm pretty familiar with this story and I can summarize it. Um, what the video failed to show and what this article also fails to show is that Mr. Yokel and Mr. Smith, and I pronounced that incorrectly at first. It's I call I kept calling them Jokel, it's Yokel. Mr. Brian Smith and Yokel um, were both anti-government activists. When I say activists, I mean they were just individuals who repeatedly uh, had anti-government ideas. I believe Yokel was placed on a watch list in the past. Smith may have been as well, but they more or less considered themselves sovereign citizens, and that's what led to the deadly encounter. I'll briefly uh, give you a synopsis of what happened. Yokel, Smith, and a couple other individuals were in a truck going into some uh, a private parking lot that had a security detail. Well, the officer on duty at the security detail uh, stopped the vehicle. I believe it may have been a routine traffic sort of check at this particular parking lot. Asked Smith, who was driving for his driver's license, some sort of altercation occurred where he showed his license or refused. And here's the thing. We laugh at those situations, but they're very serious. The truck sped off, so the officer went sp pursued after them, and they fired at least four shots from the truck into the deputy, sh the, the sheriff's deputy car. He was hit four times. Um, I believe he pulled off to the side of the road and called for backup. This was at four o'clock in the morning in Louisiana. So other sheriff's deputies found the truck parked at a trailer park. They drove up to the trailer park. Um, in, encountered Smith and a couple other the, the individuals in their posse outside began to arrest them when uh, Smith actually I believe it was Smith's father um, and, and one of them may be dead uh, don't quote me exactly on the story you can go back watch my old video anyway the, the three there were two Smiths in this yokel were the, were the sovereign citizens the police began to arrest two of them when one of them, I believe it was Brian Smith, opened up firing with an AK-47 at the sheriff's deputies. Uh, two sheriff's deputies were killed. One was uh, injured, an additional one besides the one that was injured back at the vehicle. So at least two sheriff's deputies killed, at least two injured. There was testimony at the scene that this yokel character was seen standing over one of the sheriff's deputies with an AK-47 and shooting him more or less execution style. Uh, and I believe they had witnesses who testified to observing that with firsthand knowledge, and that's what put Yokel away and is going to get him the death penalty. He testified also in this trial and stated that he was not that he did not shoot anyone um, during the shootout. Uh, but you can see that the jury uh, did not find that testimony credible. So I wanted to follow up on this because I did a story on it before. Again, we laugh, we joke with the sovereign citizens. We learn from it a little bit, uh, but it's a serious and, and, and it can be very dangerous with the people who take it to the extreme. You know, and just this little right to travel type stuff, uh, you know, a, a routine traffic stop turned into a couple of officers dying and a couple other young men losing their lives also because this individual at least will be put to death. Uh, it's very sad and tragic for everybody and it's a it's it's a dangerous ideology. Um, just a little learning here. Um, for capital case, I'm not capital certified. I am a defense attorney, but attorneys actually have to be certified uh, to be to do um, cases where the death penalty, a capital case, is at stake. I do not have that certification, and it's up to the jury to decide whether or not he should be put to death. Now, that's different than the standard sentencing scheme in criminal cases, where once you are convicted of a crime, every other case, except for a death penalty case, once you're convicted of the crime, then the judge decides the sentence, okay? And you can do a whole hearing, both sides call in witnesses, experts, etc. But the judge decides the sentence in a standard criminal jury trial or bench trial. Uh, the judge decides, jury decides guilt and innocence, judge decides the sentence, except in a capital case 
a jury will decide if the individual needs to be to be put to death. I think that's a good thing because I think that decision should come from a jury when we're talking about, you know, uh, multiple individuals, a jury of your peers, they decide as a group is a little bit different and, and hopefully would be less biased than that decision coming from one individual who is a judge. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I'm on the drive to 5,000 and then the drive to 10,000. Most, most of my viewers aren't subscribers, so go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Um, you don't even have to watch me every time it comes up. I'd ask you to, put, to click on the notification so that you see it. But hey, even if you drop by once in a while, give me a subscribe, get me to 10,000, it will give me cool new features in YouTube. Thank you very much for watching Common Sense Academy. Out.